I said I was gonna be back after, but phew. worry about it. I'll do it now. one electronic wool. I don't know. There we go. So this is from Reese, but it was owned. Sorry, excuse me. By Mr. Glenn Trapp from ProSaw Services in Lisco. I think it's Lisco. Lisco, New South Wales, Blue Mountains. sent me cool there's a screw in the bottom always check the box it's a box inside out so find out where it went to now. Look at this. Nice. So trappies, okay, come out of the bottom of the starter. First impressions. Worth what I paid for it. Yeah. Screw on the bottom of the handle. Not there. Might have a... No, I don't have a spare one. Can get one. Bunnings, I think. Bunnings sell them. <coughs> so, screw out of the bottom. The one down by the handle on the starter. See what it looks like with my other handle, my other starter housing. Carb is loose. That's not good. Actually, it's. Uh, I bet I know what it is. The stud's not in the filter base plate. I bet the stud's not in it. So it's. Probably drilled out and it's got a bolt in it. Lucky I've got a spare one of those. Yeah, this ain't cool. Carby nuts are missing. Lucky I've got some of them. No air filter. Disappointing. I think I might send you this video, Trappy, just because. Okay, so what I already noticed is the rear handle assembly. Same as the red top, it's got the choke slide 
right here. I don't think my uh, my orange top does. Well, this is mine now, but we're missing nuts. I was told this runs. Pretty clean. You can see that, can't you? Yeah. So it's got a modern this plastic shroud thing for the cooling. That's modern. My spare one, I think it's Baker White. I think it's Baker Light because it's the colour of Baker Light or Bake Light, whatever you call it. So, fuel and impulse, impulse hose clear. I might leave them. Base nuts, I've probably got some. Air filters, I've got two off Sean. They're this tight. The cut out. I mean the locating pins both sides. <clears throat> it's actually pretty clean. It look well, it's it'll clean up better than it looks now, but yeah, the front case, sorry, the tank cowling half's broken, so I might have to swap the starter over. I'll show you this. There. Broken. You get a business card in there. No, the tank's the same, it's probably two seconds. Actually, identical in the wear. Wear. Well, this start will go on it. When I put the poles back in, it's nice and smooth. So. Heat gun, pop it back in. That's just popped off. Throttle rod is on the 40 red top. That's why it was in the box loose. Reese told me when I bought this, he said, This one's good to go. But the th throttle linkage, you had to take off this to get, put it in the box for that one. There's a few on eBay over in the States. 30 bucks posted. It's a lot of money. It's $5 Australian for the rod linkage. $25 postage. $120 all. Let's just check the cap. Yeah, we sent it with fuel in it. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. I've never... All the 041s I've worked on. No chain on the caps. A chainsaw mechanic. Used to only saw Mr. Glenn Trap. Well, there's none on the wheel. Oh, right. 
So the muffler protector hand guard, the hand guard's broken completely off. You can see, but this is a different variation. It's the half. I'm guessing that's the half one, unless I look closer, but mine is a full. It could be. Let's just sit on the bench like that, eh? This is the prop. Bottom AV mounts loose. Rim sprocket. Um, give us two seconds. Actually, going to say that 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 muffler guard. Rob, if you're watching this, same as the one you used on your video. It's a different variation. It just protects the bottom, bottom and back of the muffler, but the hand guard's broken off. The, yeah, the, for the th chain throwing. It's a fair bit of oil around the exhaust port. You can see it there, I think, yep. Yeah. Right. This ore is clean. Nothing. Nothing around the cylinder. I can see the back wall of the rear handle, no worries. The aluminium cooling plate looks brand new. <clears throat> what I am interested in looking at is if this has all the stuff for the chain brake hardware inside it. If it does, all I'm going to do is source the handle. Handguard that activates it, the making all the hardware, which I think A32 will fit. If so, I'll see stupid 13 mil bar nuts and eight. Oh, we might be in business. All the holes are there. The mechanism comes in there to there, I think. Yep. For that hole, then that cam. Something there, and then your spring. No, it's different. The rivets are loose on the inner bar plate, outer bar plate. A couple of taps with a hammer. So, if anyone's watching this that has all the gear, the the buck and spike's bent. Look at that. You can straighten that out. It's... My vice has got one of those anvil pads on it. About that big. I'll straighten that out, no worries. If anyone's watching this and has the hardware or even a chain brake side cover in the handle I would really really want one so I can go because here <coughs> here in Victoria Australia
we have designated firewood collection areas for people that haven't got contacts on properties or yeah mates that own properties or people like places that have trees to be removed or whatever so for me I can only go to the designated areas at the moment uh, there's a, a rule in the rules if you if you saw if you're not confident with a saw without a chain break you must have a saw with a chain break whereas I am but no my luck while I'm out there cutting with a saw without a chain break oh, I might get fined possibility and I just want one with a chain break because I've got two without so yeah if you if you've got a side cover if I don't find one in the meantime clutch cover with the chain brake and the front handle with the doesn't have to have the screws I've got screws here but just the the handle smash them in the comments or Rob if you're watching hit me up I'd like to buy something off you Just go easy on the price because it's double for us. <laughs> oh, well, I'm thinking of it. I found a part the other day left on the bench while I was cleaning up before all, before I started on the dismantling of the 620 for the second time. See that there? It's like a chip deflector, but it doesn't really, it just deflects it back out the front. I actually found one, it must be off the red top. But I don't remember removing it. This all's that clean, I can see wherever that goes. It doesn't have a chain catcher either, so. So, it's raining, actually, check my work phone, I've heard it go off before with an email, see what, it's actually my old, my old phone, but I, <clears throat> it's got the work. Tomorrow, so whoops. I work tomorrow, so I'll be out here putting the 620 back together. <laughs> Hang on, there was two messages there. Whoops, I replied to everyone. <laughs> to run yours on, there we go, and I just stuffed it, so, I'm going to 
back the nuts on. I'm going to see if it runs how it sits. Oh, all these starters, all the starter screws are loose. It's a bit. What's the word I'm looking for? Suspicious. Tell you the truth, if if it ends up being the same for this, um, it wouldn't be bad because I can't remember what what it uh, equaled, but. For the sake of two bearings and two seals, it's not really. If you can save the uh, base gasket, which generally you can, this piece, I'll show you this piece, it's, it's foobard. Actually, it's still joined to the tank, but I figured, I mean, it's, as far as I know, it's the uh, original tank. It has been patched before by the looks. It was, I'm going to say welded. It's not JB. And the fuel hose. Oh. Yeah, wow. There's a spring. Never seen that before. Between the tank and the hole, it could be a helicoil. It's just started to come out. What was I talking about? That's been welded. I guess it's the original tank. I mean, way better condition. Mine, this one, except the badge. You can barely read it. It's pretty much all chrome. This one's better looking. There's, the lettering's not. I think they were red. Could have been orange. By then, the red top's red, the writing, but it's one of the first models to come out. Um, <clears throat> Fuel hose, way too long in my opinion. This, oh, the barb. I'm gonna do it what I did in the 41. I'll turn it towards the tank and I'll have a fuel hose that long. That's it. Okay. Well, plastic starter cup. And she's stuffed. Put a new one in that. Nice. Looks brand new. The 
There's this. Look at that. Broke right where the screw where it seals. Could patch it, but don't really want to. So that's off. That's nice. It's Excuse me if you heard it. Heli coil in every hole. Okay, because the standard screws aren't in it. Might be the reason. Uh, do I have another half? Yes, I do, but it's the wrong size. The massive screw, the, the case half off the 41, uh, the red top. So, damn. What do you do? Different screw there. Flywheel looks like it's been taken off. Oh, this one's got that plastic. Ah, that's how it sits. Remember that plastic ring that goes down before the flywheel? I think it's a stops crack inside there. I could be wrong. Neither the other two, well, one had it, but I didn't, didn't know how they went back on. This one's got it. If you can see that little, there, slots in each side of the cylinder. So I think, We'll check spark. It's got a could be the original switch. This one's not oh yeah, it's it's serial number eight five four two four three ah four eight three. So Seven digits, eight, five, four, two, four, eight, three. And I'm pretty sure you've got to put a triple one, two in front of that. This starts with an eight. They start with twos. So this is. I'm guessing. I'd be guessing. Electronic come out. Um, mid to late seventies. I'm guessing. Rob probably knows this if you're watching, Rob. I don't know, I know they're a bit boring, but oh, yeah, <clears throat> they're not for me because I'm. You know, excitement, new saw. Oh, what was I getting at? Uh, electronic. The switch style. So the back of. I thought that just went out then. Oh, the back of the back of the switch on my oh, my orange top there. The points one. It's a black. It's a black block. It fits right in there, right nicely. You know what I mean? But it could be one of the new switches because it's got the spade bit. It's 
nice and patched, I think, by the feel of it there through the grommet, yellow and green tape right around. I think we'll give it a check for spark. Jesus, that's quite. This, I'll be putting the boot on it. It doesn't have a boot. It's got the old eyelet with the screw deal. I hope there's no helicoil in this, eh? Clutch has got shoes on it. And it's a... Okay. So this is a 7A. Eh? Yeah, right. Maybe the spark plugs I get. So they're made. Um, Thirteen, wasn't it? I've got no idea where that is. better when it's cold. Have they got no, still unbranded? I know I don't get no royalties. I just get a free coffee every ten coffees, which is four because I can be missing get some too. Well, let's have a look. Um how Will I do this? <laughs> Let's see if I can lay it across there. Let me know if you can see. Yeah, I think you can see it. Let's 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 have a look, eh? See if I can do a compression test with the rattle gun. Put the ignition off. No one, uh, Trappy. I don't know him personally, but he's a legend. Um, judging by. It's done some work, obviously, but to, to know what, he, what, what, a, what sort of a man he is, I reckon he probably only uses this once. Just thinking out loud. So let's give it a crack without. Not going to happen. Just undone the nut. So. Coming down now, yeah, thought so. Eh? The caves leaking water. <clears throat> so, we'll test compression at a later date. Just got to really I'll just put the starter back on, but it's a bit carboned up in there. S 
the, I reckon, cylinder and piston to be. Yeah, that looks. See if I can get that piston down any. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she was slightly rich. Looks smick. Ah. Uh, long video, sorry, but this is like first, I call it unboxing and first impressions, first impressions, uh, it's missing some parts, nothing major, a bolt for the AVs at the rear, I'm just, I'm not just going to whack any bolt in it, I want to get the, the one that's designed to go in there, with the, you know, the button head, with the, the square thing, so it locks, at least the handle's not broken and there's no patch here, so that, that's good in a way. Screws, screws, you can't get, well you can buy, you know the ones that go in here, you can buy them, but they're Chinese, you can get a whole kit, if, if you, did you know that, that you can do that these days, sort of ask the question, so if I want, so I've got this, my hot rod A24. Uh, it's missing, well it was, no what one was it? One of them, I didn't have enough screws so I went to the steel shop and got the OEM screws but if you type in 024, 026 on eBay, you can actually buy the whole screw kit, or well, the whole kit to get Spark plug, try to bin, their torch, their crap. You get an air filter and every single screw you need. But if you type in 0410, so 0410, 032, and there's another model that takes the same screws. Lucky I looked at that, that's missing the AV screws, they're, they're, they're different. You know the flathead screws I'm talking about? You can still buy them, but in kit form from China. So I don't know whether you take the risk. You probably get them in the steel shop. I, I haven't really asked. But, go to the hardware store. You know, the screws I use for the starter on the 620, same screw. I'm, that's what I'm screwing into this hole right now. And I thought I lost it, but I didn't. But, screws, no, not an issue. I like them. I like these black ones. Actually, they're not. Could be the same as my kit. There's something written on it, but I can't really read them. I noticed there's too long and too short. It's supposed to be the same length. First impressions on happy. But as to the age of the clutch, 
kind of tells me that it's not a it must be a very early electronic it's got the material on the on the shoes plus the washer and the nut pretty sure my other one doesn't have the nut could be wrong I know the 41 does because it come off in the cut I mean, oh, I'm on a donut. That's it. I've just said it. So, actually, own a saw that a chainsaw mechanic used to own. I've got to. I keep looking at my orange top. It, it was a farm boss. I'm just looking at it and looking at this. This is, an, this is actually how that one's supposed to look, but this with the filler on it sits here. About that high. Take five mil off the back and set it down five mil. That's, that's where it sits. Not where it's supposed to, around about there, yeah, right there. So I've got a spare flywheel side if I need it. So I might just make that one back to farm boss. <clears throat> then I'll have everything I need to. make this nice proper muffler cover that comes hand protector it's all one unit it's all on that sort well actually I might do it why not I made the gasket for that seals are brand new. Problem is get the seals out will be fun because they're rubber. Flywheel side will get broken. That's only a ten dollars ten dollars sitting there. Remember I found it in my pocket. I might do that. Keep thinking the is at the door. Anyway, I think that's front AV mounts loose. Big deal. Get some of that tennis racket grip. Mm -hmm. But if I make it the AV. I'm gonna do it, I think. I'll. I mean, this. I can't use this piece, that one, because I've machined it out. Originally, the. Idle screw, you can see where it is here right there okay in my that oven there I've had to machine it out like this because it's now sitting about there it's only downside but this is pretty clean that's repainted oh Babylon all of crap I know First impressions and plans, this video is called. To make that back to farm boss, I think. Then we fix this one up. 
to scratch. New AVs in that one. The rear handle's good, it's just these two cracked. Cracked and squashed, and the wrong screws are in it, but you can see they're loose. One, only one screw in it. But new handlebar with AV mounts. Well, it's not brand new, it's just been rejuvenated. <coughs> that mount's still intact, but it's loose. No biggie. No biggie. So, I'll pause there. Don't think it matters. I think I'm filming on my phone. So I don't know if it's going to go to the cloud. It's weird. If I film on the iPad, I can watch the videos I filmed on the iPad away from the internet. And once I hit the internet, it goes to the clouds. Can't work it out. I suppose I could use. That half of the tank on the original, I've got a gasket there, but it, it'll probably leak. This is the tank that's supposed to go on that one. But the other one had the new, the new style badge, it just says steel, you know, like. Yeah, like the A32 style. Well, you guys have seen it. So, I need a throttle rod linkage. And, no, I don't need a choke, it come with a choke. <clears throat> yeah, this. Even the screws, actually, I think they're current. It's too long. It shouldn't flap around like that, I don't think. But the other two I've dealt with them. Um. Muffler screws. So the one on the starter side is brand new. Actually, this might have an aftermarket. It's been rebuilt. Just guessing. Yeah. It's got the same top end as that 41, the red top in it. It's got the aviation gasket maker in it. The, you know, the seal, the perma seal. It's a good stuff. Um, doesn't look like there's a base gasket and there's two grommets missing off the high tension wire it's no biggie really so the f I'm just looking at the part number on the flywheel it's Triple one zero. Is that what you put in front of the serial number? I can't remember. Put the, above this part number here 
on the rear handle assembly, the bottom rear handle assembly. It's got steel written in capitals the old way. Like that. Then above it, it's got the S with the saw blade. Just thinking out loud, this part might be really early. Yeah, I don't know. It's possible. It could be a bitzer. There you go. Can you see that S? Part numbers all match, so it's, yeah. At the moment, <coughs> flywheel is in the same error, triple one zero. So yeah, it's just, it just caught this heli coil on this. Come halfway out. This one is all the way in. This one's two threads in. This one's flush. <clears throat> it just needs new screws. It just needs new screws. So they're not really a tight fit. No, no wrong tight, wrong size. these Phillip head ones. Screw straight in there. Still got sideways movement obviously but feel heaps smoother screwing them in and then it just gets to a certain spot where it'll probably tighten up on the tank. Bob your uncle. Yeah. So I've got the option to do Phillips, not these ones because they're for the 620. On you, so this aluminium around the threads of that, and half of those screws, threads are stuffed through there on the screws. So um, yeah. type of screws in here same as what I did on the 41 although they look different that's tight that's tight so the red top runs nice really nice at the moment I'm gonna take it out when when the restrictions are lifted, obviously. Probably won't be till next winter now. When the season, when the collection area is open again. They're open now, but we can't go. Can't go five, more than five k's of, away from home unless you go to work. So, I'm off tomorrow. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah. It's raining at the moment. Probably look like I'm constipated because I'm standing over, but I'm not. I'm not. Um, <clears throat> just pick that up. Have a look at the. I'm gonna get a. What do you call? Them? GoPro for my head or something? Or yeah, that's a good idea. We'll film with two phones. Have a look at the high tension wire near the spark plug. She's a bit melted.
that's getting changed. Probably tomorrow. MS-170 boot. And there's, I'll probably take it back to, yeah, it's, it's bending where the, the, what do I call it, the little loop. I don't know if I'm going to lose spark doing that. I'll probably get a boot that'll do the same thing over the top of that, but that's annoying when you want to go change, take the plug out, get off, you know, like out, in, out, in, like, like me, like always. <laughs> like I always get stuck doing. might even have to just because I'm a finicky person flywheel off it's grommet missing from in there you know where it comes out the case one for there if we've got time tomorrow tomorrow I'm putting that 620 back together Actually, I'll have another cigarette, turn this back on, and I'll, in my book, so I've got the A32 rebuild, O41 red top. Now this one will go on this page, this page. Maybe, I don't see the point of doing that on the screen, I've told you all. It's just for, well, for me, for me to memorize, like, remember what's to be done, what can be fixed, improved. what I've got to get and I'll write the bearing and seals assuming they're good oh, that would have been changed it's got a new top end on it hopefully so if I pop that off to, I'll check it I've got a new The oil pump feels really good. And it'd have a new bearing in it for sure. It's proper bearing. It's got a rim, brand new rim sprocket in it. Hasn't even hasn't even seen timber. Just curious as to why there's that much oil coming in. Maybe it's, Hasn't been run in, probably. So, yep. That's the plan. see some gasket maker I do I was just thinking this video because it's too long <laughs> I was just thinking because um, that saw's coming back apart 
to be made into a farm boss again, well, what originally was. The rear handle. And the case. It's all AV. That'll do away with the helicoiled holes. And I think it's got the only problem is with the handle on that, it's snapped in the usual spot. Right there, it's been JB back together. It's it's tough now. You can even see where people put their foot here because it didn't have, well these two didn't have the little extra piece, you know, like the 051076 076s, 075s. <clears throat> they had it both sides, if you know what I'm talking about. Not all, not, not every single one of them had it, obviously, because it's would have got broken off and stuff, but I'll leave you there. If there's anything else I remember, I want to mention, you'll see me again. Uru. How's it going? Back. Still having me smoke. I've had two drags. Um, so I've just seen you thinking. Tomorrow morning, before I get on to this 620, the Pioneer. I'll dismantle it, handles, get, just get it down to the crankcase with the cylinder attached. And then I'll make my decision. Probably for the hundredth time that day. That saw's nice, but I mean, I've got three variations now. Just <clears throat> the farm boss, it'll just sit on the shelf and look pretty. I might use it, I might not. I mean, it's. Excuse me, if you have watched the. Oh, well, I haven't even put it up yet. I might go and do that shortly. Start putting them, the Red Top series up. But the Red Top, it, it just. I reckon it cuts better than my. 039, it's the same cc's 64.5 point no, what are they? 60 64.5 cc's I'm pretty sure these are the same 64, 65 that red top is off its chops and it's got a hand file chain the other one uh, grind, uh, you know the grinder, the Oregon one you can do the angles and 18 inch on the red top, 20 on the AV but the orange top It's, well, it needs a barbecue, but it doesn't want to cut, it doesn't cut as nice as the red top. The red top, I'm still tuning, so. Just flabbering on. Uh, kill switch still doesn't work on the red top. I don't know if it's because it's not contacting metal 
So we're going to touch the top of the switch. And there's no paint right there right next to the switch. So we're going to go like that to shut it off. Kind of annoying. I don't know if a new switch will work or what the go is. I might even have to. I don't want to cut anything off it. I'm kind of angry that I machined out the, the slide type clutch. That uh, choke. Slide. You know the slide like the old days S10. I'm kind of angry that I machined that out to try and get one of these plates for it. <clears throat> I tried to mount this one of these to the red top, but it's because it's a uh, low top. It's completely different. I'm kind of angry I did that because there's a bike that's got the red top farm boss. It's the whole plate. It's got the slide on it with the little recess that the choke rod slots into so you can use it. So I don't know if I can cut the top part of that out to reuse it. But I don't know, the hole that the kill switch was in, it's about there, but it's in line with the throttle lock, but I, I don't know if that's drilled, whether they had a kill switch back then or not, I'm probably like the S10, you got to, it's got a slide kill switch but it's it's not there it's missing the slide and it's missing the, the you know the spring tab that must yeah and the OAS is pretty much in the same spot but it's missing that spring in the slide on that my S10 but I've just got to choke it shut it off I don't know if that's the same it's got two slide things on the top. Someone's built a hole in the here and put a kill switch in it. But there's a hole here for the kill oh yeah. in there, that's where the kill switch was when I got it. It looks like from here it's been drilled there. And someone's I mean, give me two springs and I'll an original top cover and anyway. So I'm going to go inside now and try and upload some material. It's been a couple of days since. The A32 was finished three weeks ago this week. Today, actually. No, yeah, today. Two weeks today. And the last episode was put up two nights ago, I think, three nights. It's only because they're all, they've all gone to the iCloud. That's why I'm doing it on the phone now to see if it's quicker. But I've definitely got to find another bucket spike. I've got one for my 039. They're the same. Somewhere. Might even be the one I used on the red top. Not to worry. One from the cover will go here. I don't like them on the outside. It's weird. Two is better than one. And this one's got the old style oil cap. So that's the plan. For now, get the uh, 
I'll take this handle off in the morning, both of them. Flywheel, coil, grommets. Is the original two. I've got the spare one screw for the flywheel. New cup. I'll go. I'll actually take the book with me and I'll write a list out off the top of my head. I open there and check to see if the switch works. I'm gathering it does because it's you know a mechanic owned it. No disrespect, Glenn, if you watch, if I send you this or you what, come across it one day on YouTube. With the handle, I'll heat that, pop it back into place, it's coming out, I can see there's a groove it sits in. The white operator presence and triggers. Unusual. My other one's got black, but the red top's got a white trigger. So maybe it's a very, very early electronic. The, the side I look at this doesn't say a year introduced and year discontinued. Uh, it's got everything else. See, there was a hand guard originally here, it's gone. But I'd like to see a chain break on it so I can go and because when I go wood, when I go wood cutting, I'll take two or three saws so I don't have to stop and sharpen. I have done it before. But I, when I go, I'll, I'll go all day. I don't care. You give me a, for argument's sake. Well, actually, I did. I've got a. It's no no longer complete and running, but a, you know the ninety two cc Giants first first or second gen they call it the twenty four inch bar. Looks like a Honda motor with two handles on it, kind of. Slow. I took it with me once. I, I did a muffler mod. It's got the three. They're about, say that big. The three e exit holes. You'll know the type I'm talking about in the exhaust. And they're on an angle like that. Three of them, one, two, three, about that wide. So that finger, so they're about that wide and they've got one, two, three. I welded one up. Sorry, I welded two up, drilled one big hole. So I drilled out the, the, the pipe that was the sleeve or whatever you want. The port they made it. Drilled it out and I put a piece of, um, if you've seen my 3, 372 kit saw with the 365 starter. Actually it's a Victor lawnmower handle. That's what I used, the bend in the handle. And I shot it out sideways. So I was cutting with, I was cutting with the, the farmer tech, husky, and the bar pinched. So I got that Giants, the 92 out. I mean, I, I reckon it only does nine and a half to ten thousand, nine and a half to ten and a half thousand revs at full throttle. Just slow. 
I made one cut just to drop the so I'll cut the streets falling over a fence. The green, it was raining. Not as heavy as this though. Excuse me. And where it went over the barbed wire on the fence. It's I think it sprung back up this way. Pinch the bar. And then you Excuse me, my 32 that one, that was the good one, they were overcutting probably 15 metres from me, uh, all the stuff that was on the ground on the other side of the fence, so I pinched it, anyway, I got that out, it took, it took a while to get running. I think I had because the bars that they come with, the 24s, they actually fit the, the Farmer Tech Husky. Direct fit. Uh, I think I had the 24 on the, the Husky and then the 20 inch from it off the other one. It was still slow. So I just made one cut and I was like, Phew. So then I decided to set the distance. Dis disassemble it because the fuel tank's mounted on top under the handle so you get the cap and then the air filter and carb is all underneath that and then if you leave fuel in it there's never any it just dries up so I just pulled it apart I got the rim sprocket off it the, hand the piece of the handlebars on the door of my cave I think I only paid $40 for it, bar and chain, two chains, one Oregon full chisel, well, I've still got it, and the other one's just the semi it come with, so it goes on the Husky every now and then. Chain break, if anyone's watching, I don't care where you are, as long as you can post to Australia, and it's not going to cost. If it's cheaper than a hundred dollars Australian, I'm all in. I'd, I don't care if there's no paint left on the clutch cover. I'll just paint it. Chain brake and the, the front handle for one of these O four ones. That'd be handy. That would be, that'd be sick. I don't know, I don't know if there's a, another saw with the same gear. 051, maybe not. The chain breaker but up here might be the same. It's a bigger saw though, so you don't really know. A32 is different in bolts, bolts all. Which is a shame. I'll probably make some. And I've only ever seen two others 041 chain brake models for sale in Australia. So I've seen three. One I've worked on myself. I really wanted it, but he wouldn't part with it. it has the same coil as this, but I bought the last one. New after, new old stock from Germany. I'm guessing it was a, a steel shop, or it might have been the blokes I buy parts in that off. Do something about this roof. Water's dripping straight on the 1200 A bar, bar and chain. It's, it's rusty, it's scored. That's another project. See if that XL12 top end fits on it or the whole engine. So, anyone watching, Rob? 
Tin Man, I might. Oh, I don't think you got. I don't think you like these old. You might, but it's not a home light. <laughs> Chain brake. Clutch cover, sprocket cover, and the handle. The hand guard that activates it. I really, really, really want one. I might even ask on the group. I might ask Clem. He might have one. I don't know. <clears throat> so, that's it. That's it for me for now. Next time you see me, this. I'm not going to film all this. I've done it before on camera. No 4 1. No, uh, red top, sorry. Red, they're all A4 ones, but. The red top. Same procedure. And I've got to get a throttle linkage. Unless I just. No, for one. I oh, know it runs. Ah. The orange top over there that I rebuilt first. I've got three of them now, but the throttle linkage I might steal off that when I swap everything back over. The farm boss is just going to sit up there on the shelf. And if I want to start it, I don't need the throttle. The throttle lock doesn't work on that one, that's why this handle's staying. It could be just this simple... Oh. Well that sucks. The trigger's broken. Did you break it, Reese? Lucky it's only a roll pin. And this, well, this black stuff was rubber. I'm wondering if heating it up, I'm gonna have to change the handle too. Didn't really wanna do that. Because of all the machining I've done on the other one, it looks ugly over this side, it goes up. More here, so. So I had the machine. Like that. Halfway from the hole, up, and down there, because the idle screws actually sit right here. It's different. So that sucks. I'm going from white triggers to black. So the top end's very new. If, it's, if it is, it was. Oh well, Trappy works at a shop, so he did his discount and trade. And but for me, I think I mentioned it the other day, two hundred and thirty-eight dollars for the exact same kit. He might have paid a hundred bucks. He might have got one in that was. Stuffed somewhere else, and they just said, "Eh, throw it away. It's old, slow. That red top's not that slow. It'll, it'll outrun the 039, I reckon. What was I talking about? 
So yeah, I do have an I do have a hand guard for the farm boss. I rather look the, like, like the look of them without them. Imagine this plastic thing sitting here that does nothing. Hand guard, it'll snap your wrist if you get a kickback. But I can't remember the last time I had one of those. I normally don't get kicked back, it's a shoot, it's a shoot back at the saw. Because the stand side beside it. Anyway. Finish flapping my gums now. <laughs> Next time you see me. I think I'll do this. I'll leave the 650, the 620 until after this is done. Then I've got to find somewhere to put it when I'm finished. <clears throat> Let's go buy some more hooks, hang it up. some three inch, three inch bickies, cut them in half and then use them as shelves. That's the plan. I need one of those four tier shelves. I didn't want them in here but they're in here. So yeah. And I'll let Rob know about the concrete saw. I reckon it needs a, a new carby or a carby kit. I need to. I'll get Sean to look at it. He might have all the a year and that to check it all. <coughs> If I had an ultrasonic cleaner, I'd put it in it, take all the screws and everything out and just sit in that and let it soak. Or whatever. But I don't. And I might have to make one. Apparently you can make them. Could you use a kettle? So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go chill out. I'll write down what this was missing and needs. And what I'm gonna do, bearings and seals just in case. time you see this it'll be in the morning just as the motor I'm not gonna run the risk and pull this carby part I was just thinking about should I have a look inside but the hoses are brand new slight yellowing <coughs> Have a good night everyone and I'll see you in the morning. Hooroo. Morning everyone. Just a quick video for Trappy. Recognise this saw. Honoured to own it. Next time you see this saw, it's not going to look like this. Missing a few bits. This. Trigger, the trigger's broken. So 
hey have a good day everyone and uh next time i'll be back you'll this, this all won't look like this have a good day every all day trap is a full one just taking the flywheel off it's not electronic it's points So that's either the wrong top cover or someone's ripped off with the electronic. <clears throat> it's not really a disappointment. Have you guys seen out the spark, so obviously con condenser and that's all newish I'll just put a video of it on I just whacked it all back together loosely and put a video up on the Facebook group on that we're in and tagged him in it I've got four likes already standing right here normally do it outside but group haven't seen inside here yet so I'm just uh, taking that out the stator plate that is the condenser looks brand new so definitely the whole unit looks brand new Switch. I don't think I'll get much of it off. If I take note of where everything goes on it. I think the, the nut on the flywheel had Loctite on it or it's shredded, there's threads coming off the crankshaft, there's not many, threads aren't real deep but I've got a spare, just the row for one for the farm boss will just have to wait. <clears throat> but it, it could be thread blocker. Yeah, she's points. I don't really have an issue with that. It just it's the top cover says electronic, you'd think it was electronic. Um, so I'll see if I can get this high tension lead out through the hole with the eyelet on it. Actually, I'm not using the eyelet, so I'll cut it off. Cut it back to where the melt mark is. It's heaps long enough to put a. See how it's melted? I don't know if it'll focus. It's about that long out the side of the. I'm using the phone here. Comes loops around like that. I like them straight to there. <clears throat> Using the phone, iPad's full, as I said last night. I'll see if I've got the right size grommet. Two of those. 
colors. These ones are 3 fifteenths by 5 sixteenths. And I've got quarter inch by half inch. These are the size for these. Go straight on the... It's a bit loose on the lead, but once it goes in the hole... You're sweet. <laughs> Haven't had breaking yet. So I'll feed this back through the hole. Hopefully without it coming out of the coil, but it should be pretty right. tighten the mount anymore it's threaded the nut the yeah the nut plastic plastic nut and bolt sort of sort of deal the uh, the part of this high tension lead where it goes past the cylinder is all hard as a rock but at the coil it's soft, you can see. So I'll just put that much through. Feed the grommet into position. And I'll use the chin and screwdriver to seal it, seat it. Actually, going by the grommet, it might just slide through with the long nose. Not really. Ideally you want to take the pop it in without the lead in through it, but this is working, I think. Probably nearly do it with my fingers. <clears throat> Actually, I'm just going to pull it back out and put it in. Make it easier to pop it back into place. And when the lead doesn't go into the fins. not a tight fit it must be the next size down but the same out, outside but doesn't really matter putting it back in with everything here is a bit challenging hold it place with the finger. Use my left hand so I'll screwdriver down there. With my right hand, just push. Done. Now to feed the lead back through, it will be how it is supposed to be. It's nice and sealing. Sealing over the lead, but as you saw before, okay, now that sits like that, and that's more than enough lead. 
kill wire back through, grom it in, grom it in and that's it because that's handles getting changed. As for these, well there's the time and mark. Okay. There. There's no mark on the plate itself. This was advanced, I think. The last one was in the middle. There's no mark on the base plate of the ignition. So there's no mark to cross-reference with, unless it's this, the corner of this here. But that should be right there. Well, we'll go there. It's no big deal, really. <clears throat> just, just center. That's what I do. Just the center of the holes. Actually, this was advanced. Unless it's the can you see that block? Unless the corner of that block is the mark. I'm not seeing them. It's a different plate. I have a spare. One of these plates. It's got the coil. And an electronic module here. I've got to find it. Now yeah, I'm missing the other screw. I'm not seeing it. So if it's Didn't see anything underneath made said saying made in China, but or Germany. So it's possible it's an aftermarket plate with all the genuine stuff on top. That's a possibility. So I've just put the coil back where it was originally when I took it off. You can see the marks on the top where the screws was tightened down. It's about, looks about where it sits. I mean, it's, it's either gonna be spot on or firing a touch later or earlier. See how it, how it runs anyway when when it's running. These screws have been off a fair bit, off and on. The slot's not worn out. Could be the screwdriver too. Okay, so yeah, that's. I just wanted to let you in on that. Switches back on when she's just an engine. Very. How's it going? I'm gonna use this rear handle. I'll just leave it there like so. This will be other ones being repaired. Right there. JB. JB all the way around. Then I've bolted this everything together. I think I had the heater going over in the shed during winter and it softened up and started to undo. <clears throat> so I put the muffler cover on, screwed it all, and then I went around it again. I'll just leave that as a spare. 
so I'll run this one even though it's got the helis I'm gonna I'll put Loctite in there because hopefully I'll never have to take the starter off it's it's removable but it'll probably bring out the helicoils as well so if it does it does <clears throat> so I'll actually let's just try one of those that were the screws that were in the other one the red top the big fat screws let's just try one in a hole there's one here it's purposely been helicoiled I think So yeah, I'll put the flywheel back on. Um, flywheel back on. Then bring the other saw over. And take the good bits off it. It's a broken fin as well. I don't think I just did that. No, I didn't. So yeah, switch it back on when I put the good bits back on. Have a good one. Yeah. Flywheel nuts stuffed. Pretty sure I've got one that I can use. Hopefully. Won't tighten down, it just spins. I reckon because it was on upside down, might even try it the other way actually. It might work. No, it's had it. I'll have to go and find another one. Thought I'd show you is the repair I was talking about without spilling anything. See it there? So yeah, it's well and truly set. I've cut, it hasn't hasn't done any brand new AVs. So yeah, I'll come back when I get all the bits off this. So one thing I've noticed straight away is the sawdust is getting put under the this air filter. That's because it's stuffed. There's a hole in the fleece there. Not only that, the the tank screw here was loose. I think the whole carb is coming with this. Try and there we go. I'm just taking that off so I can get the linkage off. This linkage is the farm boss, farm boss linkage, it's slightly different. to the red top, the red top bends down and in. This one's sort of twists. <clears throat> so yeah. And I think under here I 
reuse the original AV rubbers. There's, there's, I think there's one brand new one floating around somewhere. Might be in that box down there. Because it was a farm boss that doesn't bowl up properly. So the rear handle assembly on this one has the slide for the choke as well. So they must have all come out with that option. I think the AV mounts JB'd. bead in place there it is wasn't that strong just a slight piece of JB and she's broken again not to worry I'll redo that sits back into place so I think yep just a slight smidge right there was holding the AV rubber on <clears throat> so see the difference in the throttle linkage it's it's the farm boss one but it works and the clutch I showed you the clutch yesterday this is off this one it's all steel no nut over the top, it's all one unit like the modern day clutches. So that's that. It's I've got to change that half again back to Farm Boss. It's got the two holes for the handle, I think I showed you. And the rubbers are, had it. They were in the bucket. And the carby on this one is slightly different. So this is the farm boss carby, obviously. It doesn't have the, the nipple you can move, it's just fixed. And I think That's the Bakelite I was saying about. I had to modify that. It was come to about there. I had to cut it all off for that to fit in. But when you tighten the carby down, it bends some of it. That piece there is supposed to sit here over the top of the impulse. About where the middle of my finger is. That's where it sits on that other side. So that's that's the difference with the intakes. So yeah. So we'll put this back on the shelf and start putting the new the good gear on that. High tension lead on that one's grey. This one's black. Doesn't really matter. So that's the 
barb I'm talking about. That one's fixed. There's the impulse. There's that piece. Sits over it. <clears throat> so, impulse will connect back up. This one's a bit soft and cracked. I wonder if the check me box of goodies. So it's a full full bake of light. One of them things. I don't have a spare. I think that goes over the starter cup. Don't know. There's that ring I was saying yesterday. That one's unbroken. So, farm boss, I know where that goes. Front handlebar, AV mount stuff. I do have a new rubber, I'll just don't know where it is. filters, screws, it'll be somewhere, we'll just run with this, there's already paint out where it's rubbed anyway, so, I might flip it over and put the soft one on the inside, or a little side. I'm talking about. I go in here. Square piece in the square. Just found my eight mil socket. Just use a spinner to whip. If I don't get to the 620 today, I don't get to the 620 today. So I have to buy, you know, the drawing compasses. Might like get the gasket paper for the sleeve and the, the sleeve on the flywheel case. That's what I'm calling it. it goes into the Acts as the crankcase with the bearing seal get mounted. A bit soft. Don't know if I should put that in the rear handle. I'll put the new rubbers up the front. So the back's 
springy, but the front's not, if you know what I mean. handles are fitted then I'll go get a new flywheel nut from the bearing shop I've got to get the thread size measure the threads first so you pop that off and that off they can go on the rear handle. The new ones can go there. They just they like the same as the A thirty two wrappers. And because they haven't gone soft and expanded and stuff, you don't have to squeeze it together to get the whole back in. Excuse me. Moving in, just like so. <clears throat> the new rubbers I found make the front handle sit closer to the case. Oh, you can feel how deep that is. Not to worry. The spare case anyway, but this half it's on that that one there. It's all about splitting all the time, splitting cases and doing gaskets and that's all it is basically. So we'll put the throttle linkage in if it go if we'll go in. I probably won't go in with this style of saw. Actually it did. Surprised. That one's a handlebar screw, it doesn't really matter. Correct screws are going back in. The flathead. Screw it in a little bit with the tuning. So I can get the rubbers on the back. Sorry, you can't see. Just put the new, the new old rubbers back on the hand, rear handle. off the rubber to the back will be better than at the front. Too tight, you'll crack a handle. Just so it seats and it doesn't spin. Done. Nice. 
Now, the problem I've got is it's on full throttle. So I can't use that throttle linkage. It's, it's a way past full throttle. sense it just worked on the, the last handle I just took this is the handle I just took off that side but the car is in a different spot oh, man. that sucks now I run the risk of breaking the trigger If I can get the carby all the way off. Drop the throttle linkage off the freaking red top now. Not cool. Not that much of an issue really. Getting the Linkage off the red top, you just know how easy it is it pops out. If the choke rod's not in, in its spot, no point in having a linkage, you see, there's Heaps smaller. Actually, I'll probably watch this sit the handle back where it goes. About there. I'm pretty sure this is bent. I had to bend it to work, make it work. And it's could probably use it, but. about it later. Just get this back on. Feels like I've got a bit of metal in my thumb, I do. Phone. Something's happening today. Yeah, not me. Well, 
All good. Training for a new machine. I'm not a machine operator yet, so I don't have to attend. Pulse. Nipple just comes straight out of the carb. I don't know if that's normal. I've never seen it happen before. And I hope it's still good to go. It's back in now, so. handles on. So high tension back in this little holder there. Put the grommet there and in its little spot. And we've got for the spark plug, carby gasket, like that, throttle linkage, Bent the louvers, the exhaust ports out of touch so they're not hitting the protector. Alrighty. I only used this saw a couple of cuts and it's already. Pretty screws. Well, I've only got so the ones on underneath the handle I'm using the ones that factory ones, but they're not shiny. The shiny ones I use up out of the dirt and stuff. If you get what I mean. The bottom one under the muffler is a stainless allen head machine screw it's been obviously been a while since there was a screw in these in these holes and this hole here the one I'm screwing in now
So yeah, we'll put this on. Um, Allen head. I don't know if I go the top cover that was originally on that that other one, or the one that says electronic. It's not electronic, so I don't know. I reckon I just put mine on it. Uh, it feels like it's got a friggin' strip. Handlebar. A good one. Sits there. That's there's a bit of stress on the AV for memory. We'll try. Where did I just put that? Okay, hey. Allen down the bottom. The top's supposed to have Allens as well. I can, I can use Allens or I can use Flathead. Doesn't really matter. And then getting this to line up. With the hole, it's going in there, that's good. So I reckon I'll put this hand one. And then go get a new flywheel nut. What I reckon. Well, I'm allowed to. with the current restrictions you got to do card over the card payment over the phone well nuts just it's not even really worth it they might be able to charge me but I do know I've got to size it first because you've got to ring up when you get there stress on the AV. And it doesn't really line up. It's like it's a different handle. Exactly. Oh, it is slightly different. Well, it's exactly the same. Just doesn't want to line up properly. because the rubber's new and stiff. I'm putting Allen's back in them. So I've got the spare flathead for the farm boss to go back together. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, the crankcase is dirty. 
side. The sword cover I noticed is different. Which might be why it's got that deflector in there. This handle sits lower on this saw than it did on that one. We use trappies top filter base. Oh, I like it. Problem is, it's not straight. So this handle twists this handle. I bolt this one back on it. We'll just swap the bottom AVs over and we'll have a look. Could be just a matter of that handle might be bent or this one might be bent. That one doesn't look bent. off there, I'm going to go to the toilet, I might even go to the bearing shop first and then come back, hurry. Right. 